How's it going guys, Crass here. Uh, yesterday we got a sneak peek into the upcoming patch on December 14th from the Chinese patch notes. It's a little teaser so it doesn't contain everything. However, the few things they teased are so good that I just had to share it with you guys right away. And I want to mention that at the time I'm recording this video, uh, we're getting close to 250 subscribers. So I just want to thank you guys so much for your support and let's get into it. So, this is the page, and it's translated from Chinese to English uh, using just the Google Translate. So some of it is kind of hard to comprehend unless you really look at it, um, but I have kind of a TLDR um, from Reddit and just from what I can read here. And the first thing I want to mention is the rewards in general for bounties are being increased, and that's very interesting because I want to know if it'll become something where everyone should do them every day, or if maybe it'll just be more broad in line to where if you like doing them, then they're good to do, uh, but no one feels forced to do them. And I kind of hope that's more what we see, uh, because personally, I'm not a fan of bounties, so I hope I don't feel forced to do them every day. Uh, but for anyone that loves doing bounties, this is great news. And on top of that, there is a change to the bestiary where your first turn in each day will 100% guarantee a legendary item, and that is fantastic. Um, especially for someone who doesn't have a lot of time to play, uh, then you know at least your one turn in a day, you'll definitely get an, well not really an upgrade, but you'll at least get a chance at an upgrade every day from just that. And then if you're someone who likes to do your bounties as well, usually you can get around like four monster essence, or if you kind of stay in the area and farm a bit, you might even reach that 10 just by uh, doing your bounties, and that's amazing. Um, also, for our set items, now when you run three dungeons a day, you're guaranteed one set item from those three. And that, it's interesting to see how it'll roll out, um, because I'm hoping that it's a guaranteed item from the dungeon you run those three runs in. Uh, because if, say, you need an item from a dungeon that's not often boosted, say like Cavern of Echoes or Pit of Anguish, and you also don't want to farm those too much because they can be a drag for sure. Um, if you can guarantee an item from that dungeon, then you'll get closer to um, either completing a set or if you've already completed your set, uh, trying to hunt for upgrades. And on top of that, there's an additional change mentioned where you'll be able to exchange an item that you get as a drop for another item. And they didn't really explain how it works, but I'm hoping it means that either you can exchange, say, like a shell boss piece for another shell boss piece, or maybe one item from Temple of Namari for another item from Temple of Namari. However, um, the last change to dungeons with the uh, wisps, that actually turned out much better than I expected with only needing five wisps per item you craft. So maybe we'll get an even luckier um, change and just getting one set item, you're allowed to change it for any set item of your choice. Uh, but we'll have to see. And also, uh, for people who don't have much time to play, there's going to be an additional boost to... Uh, when you're behind server paragon level, um, instead of 4x XP, you can get up to 8 times experience, um, as well as an increased drop rate for set and legendary items. And it's interesting to see how that'll turn out, because depending on how big of a boost it is, um, it could be beneficial to even stay a little bit behind server paragon, and then kind of just do your normal daily routine, and then you'll get increased drops while you do that. Um, however, if it turns out to be not that big of a boost, then it might end up not even helping players that fall behind. So it'll be interesting to see how they roll that out. Um, and once we get the official patch notes next week, I'll go over those as well. Uh, just so you guys can see um, maybe what helps us free-to-play players um, or players who don't have much time to play. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, with these changes, just what they mentioned, it seems like we'd have a good kind of new daily routine of maybe completing your bounties, um, running 
three dungeons, and then farming at least one bestiary turn in. And then you'll get your legendary items a lot faster, your set items a lot faster, and maybe even like triple stat set items a lot faster. Because right now, even players that are playing a lot really don't have that much for a triple uh, stat set items, especially in the set item that they actually want to use. Uh, like I myself, I've even gotten two triple stat belts, the same belt, and I just ended up scrapping the one, and it, it really feels bad. Like I really wish, or I'm hoping that when we're able to exchange an item, maybe you'll, you'll have to do it when it's still unidentified, or maybe if it's like an exceptional piece, it'll guarantee an exceptional reroll, or maybe even like if it's a normal item and you re-roll it, maybe it has a chance to become exceptional at that point. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Uh, let me know down below in the comments if there's anything else you guys would like me to go over, um, or if you have any other thoughts on this update, and I'll make sure to respond, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.